The Seattle Seahawks head into what could be a very early NFC Championship game preview in Green Bay, playing once again without star strong safety Cam Chancellor, whose holdout continues. His holdout changes the entire complexion of their defense. And playing against Aaron Rodgers and this Packers potent offense, Seattle needs every defensive edge it can get. There is so much quarterback intrigue in Sunday's game between the Tennessee Titans and Cleveland Browns. For the Titans, how will rookie Marcus Mariota follow up his historic debut after he threw four touchdowns and had a perfect passer rating last week? Let's not expect Mariota to match those numbers, but let's see if he can keep up this hot streak. For the Browns, the question is if Johnny Manziel will be the starter, since Josh McCown, who suffered a concussion last week, won't be cleared to practice until at least Friday. If it is indeed Manziel, this game became must-watch TV. Week two is too early to call any game a must win, but it might feel like it for the Detroit Lions and Minnesota Vikings after each suffered a disappointing loss in week one. For the Vikings, the biggest questions are on offense after Adrian Peterson was a non-factor against San Francisco. Will Peterson get more carries and be more effective this week? He has to be for the Vikings to have a chance. For Detroit, an interesting player to watch as they try to get their first win of the year is rookie running back Amir Abdullah, who looks like he could play a big role in the Lions offense, both running the ball and catching it. Houston Texans head coach Bill O'Brien wasn't messing around this summer when he said that he wouldn't stick with quarterback Brian Hoyer long if Hoyer wasn't playing well. Little did we know, though, just how short that leash would be. O'Brien has already benched Hoyer in favor of Ryan Mallett, who's going to start this Sunday against Carolina. This is a huge opportunity for Mallett to take control of this team and try to make the Texans competitive in what looks like it might be an interesting AFC South.